And we are back. We are back, people. For the next episode. Like I said in the last one, we are doing adventure. Let's hit it. So, last... Last... Or, not last time, because I didn't... I didn't sort of do the last time. Uh, but when I played the original one, and I didn't... I didn't upload it, but... When I did the other one, it was... The Wall of Orangeosity. Let's see what this brings. Now that's quite odd. The front door is unlocked. So this is a book called Introduction. I've been searching for a housekeeper job for ages now, and I think I finally struck it. A man named Professor H. Orange called the other day with an offer. This is his house. He didn't give me very many details, so I'm hoping he's around. It's an interesting place. The towers are rather tall, but that's no problem for me. Hotel work has made me qu quite quick at climbing stairs. Now that I think about it, Professor Orange said nothing about a key. There has to be one somewhere. Looks like Professor Orange isn't here to greet me. I best look around. I wonder if there's anything important in those drawers. A hanger? A twig. Worthless thread. Old document. A dusty book. A pocket watch. Some more worthless thread. A cracked flower pot. A wilted rose. An empty bowl. Wait, was that all of them? No. Arrival! By Professor Orange himself. This mansion? It was built by a certain Golden Labrador. But that's of no major importance. Apparently, t'was his vacation home. I got this place dirt cheap after his death. Really, it's an odd location for a vacation home. This man must have loved his remote dark force. I like it, though. It's a perfect place to perform my experiments. The layout of this place is nuts, but adding doors isn't much of a problem. Well, to work with me. Okay. Foyer. Suitcase tag. Gordon LeBrow must have done a lot of traveling. Feel like I shouldn't be picking feel like I should be picking this up. Four towers. Let's just grab all the stuff in here first. Climbing rope. What is this doing here? Mystery po oh tastes like ch Oh no. Mystery powder. Hangers. <clears throat> Four towers. Actually, at a second glance, the layout of this place isn't too bad. The front... The four towers are perfect for what I have planned. Each one of its own problem, though. Has its own problem. The first tower is completely overgrown. It's a maze to get to the top. The walkways of the second tower have undergone decay. The wiring in the third tower is all whacked out. Each time I wish to go up, I have to reroute everything. And the fourth tower is the worst. The spiral staircase up is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Well, I'll just have to live with it. They don't call me a genius for no reason. Okay. Whoops. The door's locked. I guess I'll have to open it from the other side. Quite an odd hole in the... Uh, I don't want to know what's back there. You kidding me? 
What is this? There we go. Now that. This looks like a puzzle. Okay. Let me just open this up. So that way this one. Oh, I know what I gotta do. Gotta activate this. Activate that. Activate that. Activate that. And something happened. Mirror switch. One of eight for use in the laser room. Okay. Second tower. Oh, there's more chests in here. Empty flash water. Finds water droplets. Greenhouse. What does this one taste like? Smells like old socks. Wait, who's this by? Professor Orange. I've never seen a room so overgrown. I wish I could turn off the water, but it seems to be a bit complicated. I'll give that another try later. The buttons under the channel must have to do with it, but they seem to be malfunctioning. Anyway, that's not the reason I came here. The reason I came here was so I could access the first two towers. They're a perfect place to mount these mirror plates to the tops. <clears throat> this is weird. First tower is overgrown. Wait, so how am I going to get up? The first tower. Oh, that's how. Actually, these towers are going to drive me crazy. Well, if I wasn't already crazy, they would drive me crazy. Because I'm already crazy, or so people have said. I suppose I could go crazier. But is there a craziest? Quite the crazy question. This seems to be the most overgrown section of the house. No matter how cut myself a path through the overgrowth, I have to get this mirror plate to the top for my contraption to work. Okay, so we start climbing. So next is through this place. This doesn't seem that bad of a maze. Okay, I. S Wait, what? Oh, there are multiple ladders, so one of these ladders are the is the correct way up. Okay. Okay. Found the next way up. Aha! Mirror switch. One of eight. Just go like that. Because I can. And just find... Final place. This place, right here. So now we have two mirror switches out of eight. Oh, I thought that was. Wait, what is this? Pumpkin or something? Second tower. Let me just see what's in here first. Water droplet. Usually there's stuff behind paintings. Guess not in this map. Whoa! 
Oh, this is not what I was expecting. A long ladder system to the top of the tower, and a pool at the very bottom. What's next? A hedge maze? Oh, wait. I was just in one. My memory is fading fast as I age. Well, I'm determined to finish this experiment before I forget about it. Ha! Take that, forgetfulness. You have been outwitted. Wait, so what am I doing? Oh. oh, that scared me a little. I don't know why, but that just did. So... Okay. We're going up the, de the decay. Oh... That's why the water's at the... So you really... Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna switch. So you really don't want to mess up. But now you do. Okay, I just thought that was something. Well. What? Is this area? Robotic Chef. Maybe I'll need those. Oh, I'm such a bad cook. I tried to make a simple stir-fry. Apparently, even that's too much for me to handle. If I had the time to create a robotic chef, I would. But no. The orange experiment takes priority. I'll eat overcooked vegetables any day to see this experiment finish. If it works, it will change how we view the world. Not only that, it shall go down in history as the greatest discovery of all time. That went really weird. This is a nice kitchen. Maybe I should cook some food. I'm hungry. What? What is this place? Those mirrors look important. Oh, okay. So, here's number one. Oh, these change. Oh, that's awesome. Fire the cat. Gotcha. So where would we want this next one? Would we want it right here? It seems like this would be the next place for it. And that's gonna fire right there. That's gonna fire and hit this. So, yeah, we do need a couple of them. Oh, so that's the door. On, that's the hole on the other side. Okay. The one green block. Guest bedroom. Housekeeper. Welcome! If you're reading this, you must be the new housekeeper. Sorry, I'm not here to greet you. I have some pressing matters. If you could just wait here for a little while, that would be great. Don't go exploring too much. There's some classified equipment around here. If you were to get a hold of the technology behind it, the government were... Uh, just wait here, please. The kitchen is just down the hall if I'm not back by the morning. By the morning? What is that supposed to mean? Well, there's the kitchen. Which I was just in. 
at these pictures. First tower. Second tower. Looks like there's sort of a little outside bit somewhere. Here's the second tower in the kitchen. There's no way to open that, so. What is this? Aha! Oh, God. Oh, God. I sort of don't like it that it's dark in places now. I really don't like that. Doors and drawers. Dang these doors. Sometimes they just don't open. They're not locked. Not blocked. Not nothing. They're making me lose my temper. At some point, I'm going to have to remodel this place. The paintings are creepy and quite, quite frankly, they're pretty boring too. I think skulls and spiders are great for art, but not so great that every painting has to have them. Furniture is claustrophobic, especially in the hallways. The drawers are filled with junk. How did twigs and a coat hanger get scattered around the house in the first place? I could rant on for days, but I don't have days, nor do I have enough paper to write all my complaints. You know what they say, the brain is the ultimate sketch pad. Oh, that's cool. Two, one, three. Progress. Nope, we just read that. Progress. Who designed this plumbing? I'm trying to focus on my experiments, but the sink won't even work. Water was working just fine in the greenhouse. In fact, too fine. Well, I've been making advancements in the orange experiment. I can control the entire setup with some mirror plates that I've mounted across the house. That way, if the experiment fails, I'm not caught in the dimensional discre discrepancy created by... Uh, I have to remember that. The housekeeper I hired will most likely be reading all of these notes. It's okay. Most of what I say will just be gibberish to them anyways. But I must not say too much. So apparently we are housekeepers now. Just break them all down. I'm getting tired of them. That's a bedroom. Like the theater's the only place to go. Ah! Generic horror movie B. Uh, generic. The dark dimension. It came from outer place. King with Julia Mild. So these are the third and fourth towers. Oh, God. <laughs> third tower. Complex spark. Can break. Redstone Dutchman. This tower is a jumbled mess. It is, as my great great grandfather once said, a big old piece of messiness. I mean, I have an IQ of 300. So rerouting the circuitry to raise the pressure power pedestals is no problem at all. I'm sh it sure is annoying, though. It is interesting, however, that all the circuits reset themselves if I exit this room. I suppose for the less intelligent individual, a failsafe. 
Nevertheless, the mayor plays to secure it at the top. To the final tower! Wait, so this says can break redstone dust and whatever. So that's what we. I'm putting all this stuff away. And. Right now, I guess this is time to say uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Diversity. If you are enjoying it so far, please give a like and a rating. It always helps for me to understand what you guys will, would like to see. And, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.